And you'd never believe that we are at the end of the day, of the third day of the JC's 19th Regional Investments and Capital Markets Conference. Are you still hearing the audience in the background? So it's been much success. And part of that success must be because of our sponsors. And one of the main sponsors on this conference is Intelligent Multimedia. It's the founder, chairman, and CEO of and Bell Group, under which Intelligent Multimedia falls, is Mr. Andrew Pierman, a name you all know very well. Andrew, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Uh, Andrew, you, 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 you've been associated with um, the, the, the JC's conference for a little while now. What keeps you coming back? Well, the there's just so much energy and so much positivity about this whole conference. First thing, first and foremost, is that it, it deals with a very important part mm -hmm. um, of, of our daily life, and that's financial, um, stock markets, everything that we all take an interest in, both professionally and personally. I, I, I'm happy that you say we all take an interest in, because the capital markets as it brings together people like yourself who has money. <laughs> And, and, and the people who have a need for money, although through the business, you certainly need capital. So it, 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 it comes together on all sides. Certainly. And, and it's our second year of sponsorship. And we're a media sponsor, so we help to promote, we help to provide audiovisual services as well for the conference. Um, this year, we featured a lot of new products within our own sponsorship booth. We looked at things like audience measurement. How do you tell how many people are able to see your digital signage network. So we have that type of apparatus that captures that because advertisers now want data. They want to see numbers. They want, they, they want to be able to quantify how many people would have seen their ads. So we brought that to the table. So, so, so although you've gone right into it, I want to pull back a little bit and tell us who is Intelligent Multimedia? Okay. Intelligent Multimedia is Jamaica's largest digital out-of-home advertising network. Uh, we have been around since 2013, and um, in terms of an IML, it actually started as Anbel Media, and we were the first to introduce the outdoor LED video boards you see all over. It was a very difficult period. Then we had a lot of trouble getting um, permits to put up these buildings because at the time it was so new, and the government authorities felt that it was too close to signalize intersections, and that was history. So we moved our concept of digital outdoor indoors. So you'll find us in the tax offices, supermarkets, pharmacies, places where people gather, work, uh, congregate, and, um, and most importantly, are there for a longer time to be able to see the messages on the screen. So, <laughs> so right, so and we, we also are in the outdoor space as well, because at our head office, we still have an outdoor LED video board on Nutsford Boulevard, which was the first one of its kind here in Jamaica. So we still straddle both, but our major focus is on indoor. And, and the, the competition has always come. What keeps you ahead? of the competition? Uh, good question. Um, we try to keep ahead of the curve. So what we do is that we content, constantly seek out new in, um, innovative techniques to help differ differentiate ourselves. So I want, one of the things I was mentioning earlier is a lot of the advertisers always tell you they want some idea as to how many people your medium is reaching. Now they expect a higher um, standard from us even though for normal outdoor you don't know I mean what do you use you use how many cars passed and then that data is probably 10 years old anyway so we've been experimenting we have now introduced in partnership with a company in the States and we can now tell by something called passive uh, Wi-Fi how many people with mobile phones at is because everybody have a mobile phone now so we're able to tell by counting the signal emitted from a mobile device how many people are in a particular establishment at a particular date and time and run the reports. So we can see a graph, we can see how many people there, and we can tell how long they stayed in the establishment. So you'll find that, for instance, a tax office might have had a longer dwell time because of the amount of traffic in there, people had to wait longer. And then that helps us too because we can tell our programming so that the, 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 the viewers don't see the same thing over and over too many times. So. It's all about the whole content management mix. Very Talk exciting about stuff. about data analytics and its impact. This 
new thrust with technology and everything seems to be just coming at us so fast. How are you managing to keep on top of that? What is new? What the changes are? Where is the next big thing? Well, we are trying to find that out ourselves. And I mean, I'm just back from the Consumer Electronics Show where everything is about AI, how AI improves products um, that allow you to sleep better um, in terms of products now that can literally cook for you. You do nothing whatsoever, it does that. In terms of monitoring sleep patterns, if, if, you're, if, you're, if you snore, for instance, it will measure and pick up the minute you start to snore. By the way, I'm getting one of those. And it immediately shifts your head so as to stop the snoring as well. So AI and AI, of course, um, part of the system that we're, I told you about is um, has an AI backbone that helps to do the measurement and the calibration. So AI is pretty much taking over. And intelligent multimedia is on the cusp of this technology. Definitely, because so we're already going to the next stage to see how we can add better value to our advertisers. We're looking at more interactive um, ways of delivering the, the advertising message. In fact, this year we have launched something called Smart QR. Everybody knows what a QR code is these days, right? You, you just scan and it brings up advertisers. So what we're doing is that we're actually twinning the QR concept with our ads. So if you sit down and you watch an ad for 15 seconds, you have to remember what is going on in 15 seconds and maybe get a pen and write down something. But what we are experimenting with now is that what we do is we have the ad to one half of the screen and we leave a QR code to the other half. So the viewer would have time to take out their cell phone and scan that QR code and get more information. That, and that information could not have been delivered within 15 seconds, which is a typical loop you know, length of an ad. So the advertiser gets like 3x the value now because now they can point that viewer to any information or pages of information or a sign up page or a website or, or direct connect through WhatsApp or a survey or anything they want within that ad. So we're trying to you know, um, make sure that we always improve on the value proposition for the ads. What's next? What's next for you? Andrew. Well, we're looking at um, how to incorporate um, the digital signage that we do in other environments. For instance, we're about to launch the hospital network. I haven't signed off on the dotted line, so I can't name the, pro the, the property yet. But that will be the start of our health channel. So what we do is curate content that's related to health. So when you go into an environment like a hospital or, or you go to a lab to do blood work and you have to wait, because waiting is the nature of the game no matter which country you are. Even in the USA, you have to wait to get healthcare. Because that's how the system, if the system was that you get served or get dealt with instantly, it would be too expensive. There is amount of wait involved. So what we want to do with that waiting time is to make it fun, entertaining, and still impart knowledge that will help you. So for instance, the Health Channel would have tips on how to care for somebody with Alzheimer's or dementia or how to care for diabetics or how to take a medication properly. So all these tips, bit would be, tip, you know, all this information, you know, bits will be um, relayed on the screen while you wait. So not only are you getting useful information, but it is actually reducing the amount of the perceived waiting time as well. You know, and then we still put in bits of information, news, weather, to keep you entertained and informed while you wait. Take your mind off of what you're there for, in a sense. So we're launching that channel. We're looking at stuff for, for education as well. But everything takes capital, a good place to be, right? That's capital right. conference. And, you know, it's a lot of planning. And what, another thing that you have to take into account is you have to do things that are not just for the moment. Anything you do must have you know, a lifespan of probably, you know, five, six years yes. till the next big, best thing comes on. All right, Andrew, I know it's been a long and grueling three days, <laughs> you know. Um, you might be tired and want to get some rest up. Is there any last thing that as we look to wrap that you want to leave on the minds of your consumers? Okay, well, I'd, I'd like to just, you know, Say big up the Jamaica Stock Exchange. They have done a phenomenal job this year. 
um, I think key to it is that they brought in a lot of students. The, 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 the hall was, the, the whole room was filled with students just eager to learn and they're very bright and receptive. And I think today, I issued a charge to CEOs as well as a part of corporate social responsibility to help come together to mentor and give support because we need to help other young um, aspiring entrepreneurs. We need to show them the ropes, we need to guide them and we need to support them where possible Absolutely. so we give them a foot in the door. So all this came together today and sort of unexpectedly and I'm very happy about that. That's what happens when we bring brilliant people together, you know. Right. The CEO mindset is what yes. we're using to drive forward yeah. from concept to growth. Andrew, yeah. thank you very much for thank joining us. Thank you so us much. Yeah. Okay. And we're looking forward to seeing the technological changes that you'll be pushing out. Yeah, man. Thank you very much. Wishing you all the best.